That looks so high. A, F. Okay, lower octave, so I know what it sounds like. Alright, remember the space. A, what? One of the hardest things about playing the violin is this constantly changing space in between the notes without any frets to guide you. This is all due to something called the harmonic series. To understand the harmonic series, first we're going to cover this phenomenon called the superposition of traveling waves. Basically, all it means is that when traveling waves cross each other's paths, they travel independently, adding their amplitudes at the path they intersect. On a string where both ends are closed, the traveling wave reflects back upside down and overlaps with itself. This superposition creates what is called a standing wave. The interaction between the two traveling waves creates points where the amplitudes add to zero, called nodes. On the other hand, points where the sum of the amplitudes add to a maximum are called antinodes. The closed boundaries of a standing wave creates naturally preferred wavelengths on the string. The harmonic series refers to these naturally preferred wavelengths that allow a node at the end of each string. Since the distance between two nodes is half the wavelength, the wavelength for the frequency with one antinode is 2L. Since the frequency of a wave equals the velocity over wavelength, frequency equals velocity over 2L. This frequency is called the fundamental frequency. Turns out, the frequencies of all the possible behaviors are whole number multiples of the fundamental. The frequencies higher than the fundamental are called overtones or partials. Each possible frequency is also called a harmonic, with the fundamental being the first, and the first overtone being the second harmonic, and so on. When a musical note or pitch is played, you are hearing the superposition of the fundamental plus the overtones. However, depending on the instrument, the relative strength of each overtone differs. This is why a violin sounds different from a French horn or a piano, and always sounds better than a viola. Mm. Violas. The ratios between the harmonics are what defines musical intervals and ultimately notes. The musical system we use today didn't spawn from nowhere. It actually came from the physical properties of sound. The ratio between the second and first harmonic, 2-1, is defined musically as an octave. 3-2 a perfect fifth, 4-3 a perfect fourth, 5-4 a major third, and 6-5 a minor third. Due to the musical intervals derived from the harmonic series, changing spaces exist. On the violin, harmonics can be isolated by touching specific points on the string lightly, manually creating a node, allowing me to produce different pitches. However, the pitch heard can also be altered by changing the length. Since 2-1 is the ratio of an octave, an octave above would be halfway up the open string. Another octave would be half of that, which is one-fourth the original length. As it get higher, continuing to divide the string in half, I would have less space to cover an octave, leading to notes that are literally on top of each other as I get higher on the fingerboard. Um, thanks, physics. <laughs> sharp too flat too sharp flat sharp flat sharp flat sharp I'm not even moving my finger, I'm not even moving my finger.